All right, welcome back, YouTube. It's been a long time since I've been down here in the shop to tie some jigs. Uh, I've been working on my box, trying to get it filled back up. Done all my orange and chartreuse. Now I want to do some whites. Just normal, plain white. White heads. Um, I do have uh, epoxy coated eyes on the jig head. It's just an eighth ounce round ball head. I sanded the edges down to make it flat on the side so I can put the eyes on. And as you can see, they don't come out perfect. Don't matter. I'm going to catch a crappie with it. I'm not entering a contest with it. So it's going to do perfect for what I'm going to use it for. But all I did was just uh, put a small pair of vice grips and just held them down against the belt sander for a couple seconds on each side. and Powder coated them white. Uh, put a drop of super glue behind each eye, squeezed them on, and then took some UV resin, put it over top of it, and then hardened it up that way. And you can, you get done putting the UV resin over the eyes, you can tell if they're on good or not. You, you should not be able to feel an edge around the size of those eyes. If you do, there's a pretty good chance water's going to get up underneath there and that eye's going to end up coming off. So, you know, after you get it all resin coated, you get it all hardened, you know, take your finger rub over top of it, see if you feel the edge of that eye and you don't on this one this one's good um but like i said we got an eighth ounce modified round ball jig head in the vise with the number four sickle hook we're going to use our hairline dubbing well we ain't it's been so long since i've been down here it gelled up uh, i got another bottle here let me see i don't feel so bad Hairline dubbing, hard as whole, head cement. We're going to brush just a little bit of that on our shank of our hook. We are going to be using Ultra Thread and 210 denier. It's a good heavy thread, especially when you move up the size of jig heads. You start in the eighth ounce, quarter ounce, bigger than eighth ounce, I always go. I usually try to use 210 start right there behind the head wrap it all the way to the point of the hook work our way back down it's a big profile bait so you're not going to have to worry a whole lot about getting too much in this jig it's got a lot of room you can quite a bit of tail material you can use quite a bit of chanel you don't have to worry about overfilling this one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a white hackle feather and stack it on top of blue one i got the blue and i was going to do solid white but with the blue and i i can't i couldn't resist i had to add a little bit of blue to it we're going to stack them up right on top of each other like that put it right on the shank of the hook a couple loose wraps That's exactly what I want. I wanted the blue running right up the middle, all the way to the point of the hook. And we're gonna bring it back. And we are gonna add one more white feather. I stack them up two at a time. I don't do three. It's a little too much to handle. Uh, they stay a lot straighter for me if I do two and then put the next one over top. And that's what we got so far. It's going to be a nice looking jig. Can't go wrong with the solid white jig. I guess it's not really solid white anymore. It's got some blue in it. I was not going to do that, but I couldn't. Had to add a contrasting color to it. Couldn't just leave well enough alone. And we are going to put a pretty wide piece of... Um, Just chrome flash right on top of those feathers. We're going to try to stretch it right down each side of that shank of that hook. And all the way back up. 
It's like that. And we're going to trim a little bit of that off. It's like that. And you see it how it shines nice and even right down the tail. I like how that's turning out. It's going to be a nice looking jig. With the blue and the eye, you could go with the blue Chanel. Could go with the white Chanel. You could tie four of them. Four with white Chanel, two with white Chanel, and two with blue Chanel with the exact same tail pattern. Or you could use a blue body with two blue feathers and one white feather. But I'd already had the white Chanel laid out. So we are going to go with that. And we're going to start the Chanel right behind the head. I'm doing it just like you would your thread. I'm holding it up. I'm going to take it all the way to that last wrap on the feathers and the flash. Come back up to the head and stop. I'm going to lay that off to the side and we're going to brush on a little bit more glue at this point. Just for a little added insurance right there in that spot. Move your bobbin out of the way. Get your Chanel back over. And this is a medium white Chanel. And we're just going to kind of overlap each wrap about halfway. We're going to get right there to the head. And we're going to, almost to the head. I left a little bit of a gap. We're going to tie that in. And we're going to do one more wrap. Let's go one more because we're pretty thick right there. We have quite a bit of room we can fill up. Pull it back over. Wrap it. Wrap it. Pull it back over. Wrap it. A couple more wraps right there. And we're going to put our whip finish on it. Put one more. Put it down tight and cut the rest of that thread off. That is what we got. The most classic white and blue crappie jig. As an awesome jig, it should work. Uh, sometimes your simple patterns are your best patterns. You know, stock a little bit up for each season, each occasion. Have them ready in your box, ready to go. That will come out pretty good. If you like it, like, share, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think. Questions, comments. We're going to try to get back into a steady flow of videos again. I have to see what happens with my work schedule. That's all I got for now, YouTube. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. See you guys later.